In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can install and set up STAR on a Linux system. For those who don't know, STAR is a tool that is used to align RNA secrets to a reference sequence. It's a splice aware aligner. If you want to read more about this tool, you can visit the developer's GitHub page, which is here. I will leave the link to this page in the description box. And you can also download the manual and then I use that to um, learn about how to use it. I will leave the link to the manual also in the description box. So let's get started. For this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can set it up on a Linux system. So we will follow the instructions that have been made available here. On the GitHub page, there is this section where it says compiling from source. So the instructions are there. So what we are going to do is to download the source. And after that, we are going to use the make command to compile it. And then we will do some additional um, configuration. And that's about it. So let's proceed. So first of all, we need to get the latest release. So on the GitHub page, you can use this link, but I will prefer we go to the releases page itself. So let's check. So these are the um, links. You can just click here to get the latest release. So if you also want the previous releases, you can click here. So let's use this one, the releases here to get the previous releases as well. So on this page, you will see the latest release and then the previous releases are also available, but we will use the latest one by the way. So we will use this one here. So let's click it. That's star 2.7.10a. So after clicking it, you will see this one here. Okay. So um, for this tutorial, we are going to compile from source. So we will use this one here. We will just download this zip file here. Okay. So you can click to download. Or you can also use the download link because I want to work on a terminal. I will use the download link. So I will just right click and I will copy the link here. And then I'll move to the terminal and then continue. So join me on the terminal. So on the terminal, I'll first cd to my home directory. So I'll say cd. The cd should be lower cases. So cd. And then I'll move to the home directory. And then I'll use WGET to download the source. So I'll say WGET and then I'll supply it with a download link. It's a zip file and then I'll download it. You can also use curl to download. So the most important thing here is to make sure you have downloaded this zip file. So I will download it. It has been downloaded. So if I do an ls, I'll see the zip file here. Okay, so let's proceed. I'll do an ls again. And then what I'm going to do is to extract the content of this zip file. So I will say unzip 2.7.10a alpha, etc. And then I will run this command. So this will extract the content for me. So now if I do an ls, I will see another directory here. Okay, so. We are going to cd into this directory. So I'll say cd star 2.7.10a, etc. I'll do an ls and I'll find some files here. Okay. So what we are going to do is to check the documents on the GitHub page and then look at what to do next. Okay, so on the GitHub page, let's move to the main repo. So let's check the instruction here. Okay, so it says we have to cd to star and then we also have to cd to source. Okay, so let's go back to the terminal. We had already cd to the star directory and we see the source here. So we are going to cd to the source. So we say cd source we can do an ls to check the files anyway so that's it now what you are going to do is to issue the make command so i'll say make 
Okay, so once I issue this command, the source code will be compiled. Okay, star has been compiled. Let's check the files. So if you do an ls, you find a file called star, this one here. This is what we need. Okay, you can also do ls star just to look at that. So if you do ls star and then this comes up, that means that the compilation was successful. So this executable is what we need. So what we are going to do is to create a directory and then move this file there. Okay, that's what we need. So let's proceed. So first of all, uh, let's cd back to our home directory and then let's create a directory called apps. So I say make the apps. And I'll create another directory called star in it. So I'll say make the apps slash star. So we are going to move the star executable the there. So let's do an ls first. So the star executable is here. Okay. And then in this directory, we have the source. So ls star source star. Okay, that will give us this. So we are going to move this file there. Okay, so I will see mv star slash source slash star, this file. I'll move it to apps slash star. It's apps, yeah, apps slash star. So now if I do an ls into app slash star, I should find it there. Okay. So now if I want to run star, I can say apps slash star slash star. And then I can execute it. So I've called the executable and that is what I have here. But with what we have now, we always have to specify the path to the executable okay so uh, this can be problematic because when you are working on a linux system you'll be moving from one directory to the other okay so what we want to do is to configure our system so that we can just say star okay, so that we can get the executable uh, being run for us so what we are going to do next is to configure our system so that whenever we call star by its name, just star. Okay, you have um, the file here, the executable being run for us. But at the moment, because we have not configured our system to do that, we will have this error message coming up, command not found. Okay. So we want to make sure that we have configured our system so that once we issue star, once we call this command, it will be executed for us without having to specify the path like this one here. So let's start. So first of all, we will do an ls again. We have to get the absolute path for the star executable. So we can cd to apps star we can see the file here what we are going to do is to issue the pwd command get the absolute part which is this one here so we will need this absolute part here make sure you have also issued this command to get the absolute part yours is likely to be different but make sure you have this part there so make sure to copy it now we will cd back to our home directory. So we say cd. We are going to modify our bash rc file. Okay. It's a hidden file. Okay. So what we are going to do is to edit that file and then add the absolute part of star to that file. So first of all, I will need to make a copy. It's a backup. So I'll say cp bash rc 
I'll say bash rc dot back. Okay, and then if I do an ls, I should see another file here. Okay, there's a backup so that if anything goes wrong, we can use this to um, replace what was modified. But hopefully nothing will go wrong. So just make sure you are following my lead. Now we are going to edit the dot file. I'll use nano, but you can use any text editor. So I'll say nano, but you can also use VI, but I'll use nano. So I'll say nano dot bash rc, and then I'll open it. And then I'll scroll down to an empty space. And then I'll issue a command here. So I'll say export path equals dollar path. And I'll bring a colon and I'll also add the path to the star executable. Like this. So after that, I'll save the changes. Perfect. So now what I'll have to do is to open a new terminal so that uh, the changes that I have made will take effect. So let's open a new terminal. Okay, so I have opened a new terminal now. So I can say star and then it will be executed for us. So that means that everything that we have done was okay. Okay. So now you can always run the star commands by calling just the name like this okay so now that we are done with this it's time for cleanup let's do an ls and then we will see our files here this one this one and then this one now we don't need them so what we can do is to remove them so to remove them I'll say rm 2.7.10a remove this one and please take note that the rm command should be used with care okay because once you run this command whatever is deleted is permanent you can't um, undo it so uh, you have to be careful you can also add rm-i so that you are given another prompt and then you can just type Y to confirm and delete. But you can also keep the files if you want to, but I don't want um, um, this files to occupy space because I don't need them. So I'll remove them. You also have to remove the bash RC dot back. This is a backup file. And then you can remove this one here as well. So I'll say RM dash I dash fr then i'll specify it okay so here i'm doing a recursive activity here so everything in this directory will be removed and then the directory itself will be removed so that's about it so i'll issue this command and then let's see what happens let's do an ls and now we see that everything has been removed okay so and that's it so now we have just the app directory and with the star executable in it so that's about it so that's it for this tutorial so now if you have been able to configure star then i also encourage you to watch this other tutorial that shows you how to uh, perform genome mapping using the star command there's also Another tutorial that shows you how to install star using anaconda and there's another one that shows you how to install star by using the banner so you can check all these videos out